fade out of the way. Oh, fuck, this is Larry King. <laughs> Your money in the bank now. No, I'm just joking. It's, it's not Larry King. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's dead. Uh, maybe. To be... We'll, we'll investigate that. <laughs> but no, it's money in the bank. Yeah, yeah. You remember all those years ago, 2011, when money in the bank was like an amazing paper? Yeah. CM Punk was in the main event. Same yeah. building, actually. All State Arena. It was. This was not that show. <laughs> right, we're, we're going to quickly touch on the pre-show, which neither of us watched. No, it was goddamn awful. Because who watches pre-shows? One yeah. match, tag team titles, bludgeon brothers, or the boring brothers, as you might call them. <laughs> Versus a couple of good brothers. You know this is them people. The good brothers are getting buried. Yep. We called it completely. Legends won in pretty much a squad. Yep. Seven minutes. Not good. Barely anything. And they wonder why people complain about the tag division. Yeah. Well, whatever. On to the main show. Oh, and we opened up with Debron versus Big Ass. <laughs> they got him again. I did. I, I was going to screenshot that. <laughs> yeah, this, this was alright. I guess it went a lot longer than the backlash, man. Mm. Big Ass. What more do I need to say? It's like, at no point in this match did I think that Cass was winning. No. That's, that's the only thing I can say about it. No. They did the story of Brian working on the legs. Yep. Yeah. Which was pretty good. Yeah. Because then when he finally got him in the submission. Well, I kept on knowing as well, man. That surgically repaired knee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Big Cass, I suppose, had his moments, but... Yeah. He did all right. Yeah. But you knew he was never going to win. No. They're going to have Brian be beaten. It ain't going to be Cass who does no. it. <laughs> so it was no surprise when Brian locked in the heel hook. Mm. And Cass tapped out again. Again. Here's three time, Cass. So, moving on to the next match. Oh my god. Oh god, this was a mess. Bobby and Ashley versus Sami Zayn. I am a huge Sami Zayn fan, and this match flat out sucked. It's like six and a half minutes. Wow. And probably a good portion of that was Lashley standing up there holding him up for the suplex. Yeah, he done a couple of... Uh... Long holding suplexes, didn't he? Hmm. At least two. Damn it, the man suffers from vertigo. You can't be doing that, do you? No. It's not nice. But more importantly, I mean, come on, Lashley beat him with a suplex. Yeah. He didn't beat him with a spear or dominator or any of his other finishing moves. He beat him with a suplex. When have you ever seen a wrestler lose with a suplex? It's a basic move. Probably not since the seventies. I don't even want to talk about this match. It's, <laughs> it sucked. Yeah, Bobby Lashley wins. Great. So, it's Dodo Intercontinental Championship match time, and we have Elias. Ooh. Now, did he have a song for the crowd? He did. Yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> He called him scumbag. <laughs> this guy is so over, it's not even funny. Yeah, I mean, Christ. 
For a bad guy. <laughs> oh, and uh, you know, Seth was there, the champ. Yeah, he got a pretty good reaction too. It was like when the burn it down appeared, it was like, boo. <coughs> yeah. You know, um, this was a pretty solid match compared yeah. to the previous outing. Yeah. So, uh, the only problem I had though was, did you ever really think at any point, well, I may actually win this? No, no. <laughs> no, me neither. Well, I suppose there was one moment where Seth was complaining about his leg. Mm. I think what Elias caught him with a. Oh, what move did he move? Like something off the top rope, I want to say. Um, I can't. Remember. I think th there was one point where Seth was complaining about his knee, and he hit him with something, and I thought, oh my god, he may do it. Mm. Even the ending was pretty surprising. Yeah. It wasn't actually a finisher. No, no, it wasn't. It's like there was back and forth moves, a few reversals in there. And oh, we got one of our favourite moves the dreaded roll up. God damn them roll ups. You can't have a match without a roll up. <laughs> Elias rolled up Seth. Stride cheating. Grabbing the tight. It didn't work. They rolled backwards. Seth, he tried cheating. And he got it. Yeah, he did. So, still in a Carnell champion. Seth Rollins. I like the fact that he, he technically cheated and the commentary team were going, oh, what a fighting champion. He'll do anything to defend that title. <laughs> And it's like, if this was a bad guy, you'd be screaming, going, oh, what a despicable human being. Can't believe he's done this. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Oh, no. But as, as a Seth, we'll let him off. Yes. Right. It is now the money in the bank. And it's the women's money in the bank ladder match. Mm -hmm. There was Becky Lynch. The Queen, Woo. Charlotte Flair, Lana, Naomi, Natalia, Ember Moon, Alexa Bliss, and The Boss. Mm -hmm. Sasha Banks. Some top talent in this one. Yeah. And to be fair, I thought it was a fairly decent match. Yeah, there were a few decent moments in this one. Yeah, um, you had one nasty moment. I've got to highlight this. Uh, Lana grabbed Naomi and she done like her own version of the X Factor onto the onto the ladders. Oof. Right, Naomi didn't get busted wide open right there. Oof. Yeah, then they had a couple of moments where like you had like, oh, is Ember Moon gonna grab the briefcase? Oh, is Becky Lynch gonna do it? But I think we all thought, you know, it would only get down to a couple out of all of them. Yeah, there was only a few that I could actually see winning it. Yeah. One of my only criticisms was this one, where it seemed like there wasn't really any extended period of them all being in the ring. It was like, yeah, you had two or three, they'd roll out the ring, then you'd have another two or three fighting, they'd mm -hmm. roll out the ring. Yeah. And it just sort of Continued along in that fashion. Mm. I think the pacing of this match was a bit off. Yeah. The spots were good. Yeah. Um, but no. I'll tell you what, one of my main criticisms with this is... Um, I'm fine with the finish and everything else and that, but I just wish they'd liven it up a little bit and not keep it between, like, the select couple that are only ever genuinely going to get the win. Mm. Yeah, I mean, when she got the briefcase, I was like, that's, that's great and all, but she had the title, what, like, a month ago? A month and a half ago? Yeah. 
you yeah. know, why not give it to someone like Becky Lynch, maybe, or or even Ember Moon, propel her career a little bit. I, mean, I can understand Charlotte not winning it. She doesn't need another title reign. No, no, she bloody does not. Not yet. <laughs> it's bad enough that her next title win ties Trish for the all-time record. Jesus Christ. You know, in the end, Alexa Bliss ended up picking up the victory in this one. Yeah. You know, it's fine, but I just wish they'd liven it up a little bit. Like you said, Alexa had the title for a month and a half ago. Yeah. I mean, she was in a headline match at WrestleMania. Yeah. It's like a lot, a lot of people don't even get on WrestleMania. No. No. And, um, well... Didn't they have the rematch at Backlash? They did. Well, they yeah. did. An- yeah. Another headline match. Crazy. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Right, rant incoming. Stinking up the joint time. Oh, my. Oh, dear Lord. The match that no one wanted. We've got Boom and Reigns. Boom. Against Ginger Mahal. <laughs> The battle of the face no one wants against the heel no one wants. Yeah. Oh my god, well, where to start? I mean, never in my 24 years of watching wrestling have I had a match this rejected by the crowd. Let's go through um, some of the chants here. Boring. That was within five minutes of the match starting. This match sucks. Y2J, CM Punk... Let's go Cena. Cena sucks. You're always going to get the punk chunk because of where they are. But... End this match. <laughs> Just... Oh, man. I mean, Christ, the, the match was solid, but they say you need a great crowd to make a great match. It's not like it was a bad match or anything, other than Jinder yeah. screwing up his usual... Moves that he always screws up. Mm, yeah. I mean, I did actually quite like it when, what's his name, the goon in the wheelchair got up. Sunil Singh. And then Roman hit him and he ended up flipping over the wheelchair. And rather eloquently flipping the the wheelchair shot perfectly as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, your classic Roman Reigns finish show. We've seen it for the last 15 years we've seen it, so... Yeah, screw it. We could do another 5 to 10 years of this, the same bull shit with Roman. I'm just shocked this went over 15 minutes. But... Roman got beat down, but then he made his grand comeback and then he finished off with a spear. Yeah. Nobody cares. No one didn't. That... Moving on. Oh, God. Ah. It just gets better. Rant number two. Arguably one of the weakest SmackDown Women's Champions ever. The clueless moron of mm. Staten Island. Oh. Carmella ain't money. Oh, no, she versus is not. Oscar. Yeah, let, let's just build this up for you, ladies and gentlemen. Oscar's been on this massive undefeated streak. I say undefeated streak, winning streak. Mm. She won like what two hundred matches or something like that. Something crazy like that, yeah. And her one loss, which I understood, because it was against Charlotte, who at the time, and it was that main. It was believable. It was like, okay, yeah, you could make a case for her losing it to the... And now, Carmella, really? Yeah. Carmella went about seven months without doing anything. Between her winning money in the bank last year and then cashing it in. Here's a question for everyone. Apart from her fluking winning the women's title, what has Carmella done ever? <laughs> To be continued. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, oh, every time she got offense in, I just, I, it was unbelievable for me. Hmm. It's like when she had her in the, the sit down sleeper hold. Yeah. I was like, you kidding me? 
Oscar should be able to break out of this no sweat. Yeah, yeah. None of our offense is believable. No. Not to mention that Tom's uh, kicking ability is weak. And considering her finisher is a super kick, that's pretty bad. Yeah. It's like this match should have been three minutes of Oscar just killing her. Yeah. Should have just been killed her. In, killed her, done. But no, we get what, eight minutes of dragged out, boring action. Mm -hmm. And then, after a while, you sort of got the picture of this match, and then you're just like, right, okay, come on. Where's the BS gonna come yeah. from? Where's the shenanigans? Oh, and boy, did we get it. We had Oscar come out to the ring. Yeah. Someone dressed in Oscar's clothing, anyway. Yeah, you just say, okay, yeah, fair enough. She may be a bit like, you know, what what the hell's going on here? But she was, like, completely mesmerised, bemused by all of this. And then... We got the dreaded moment. Super kick. A half hour super kick at that. And the atrocity continues. Yeah, I'm left thinking, after he took the whole mask off and it was revealed, oh, it's Ellsworth. Again. Why didn't she just kick him off the apron? Yeah. She wouldn't have got DQ'd for that. Mm -hmm. Why did she just stand there looking at him for like three minutes? Yeah. But the whole thing wasn't really all that believable. No, nah, I'm... It, it, it was pretty crappy and lazy. It's like Carmella going over, even by shenanigans, it's like... It doesn't sit well with me at all. No, well, well to be fair, you, you, you're pretty pissed that it's even happened to Charlotte, to mm. be honest. Because... I'm not denying it. People are Charlotte and Oscar's quality. They're... they're 40 times the wrestler Carmella will ever be. It's true. And, yeah, you just got this stupid BS and, you know, in the grand scheme of things, what's it going to do? Because as soon as she loses this title, she's got, you know, she'll probably have the rematch oh. and whatnot, then she'll go back to obscurity. Probably. And in storyline sense, the last time we saw Ellsworth, didn't Carmella, like, beat him down? Yes, literally. Literally beat him down, like super kicked him. I think she even exploded, suplexed him. Well, if I remember correctly, he didn't like the whole of the, the, whole, the whole roster beat him up. Women's roster, yeah, beat him up. She was the one that did the majority of the damage. Yeah. So in storyline sense, what, we're just supposed to forget that? Of course we are, because we're all a bunch of morons. Oh, I, okay. Right, rant over. Let's let's move on to back to serious business. Right, it's time for the WWE Championship to be defended. AJ Styles, evil Shinsuke Nax, last man standing match. Oh man, what a match! This for me is match of the night right here. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's like this was so well done. Oh yes. Oh. Where to begin? I mean, Christ, the Kinshasa with him running across all the announce tables. Yeah, bloody hell, I did not see that coming. Fighting in the crowd. Yeah, he done some of that. It's like, and and the um, the count outs were pretty well done as well. Yeah. Because there were times where you thought, oh, he ain't getting back up, and he'd like, roll out the ring or something, and land on his feet, or use the announce table to get up. Yeah. Yeah. It was all. Believable. Mm. Yeah. Oh. oh, and then we got to talk about one of the hilarious moments when uh, when uh, Shinsuke was trying to put AJ away, and AJ wasn't having anything of it. And then Shinsuke tried to encourage him. Come on! Oh, that was right at the end of the match, right? Oh. Oh, but it was, it was it was just so bad. It was just so painful. 
That was after he had been styles clashed on the floor. Jeez. Off the steps. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot about that one. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, people. Styles clash off of the steel steps. It, it looked painful. Yeah. <laughs> Nakamura sat there. Did the come on. <laughs> Just his face here. AJ was like, right, fuck. <laughs> oh, low blow. Not a punch. He straight out punted him in the crotch. <laughs> Then she just went, ah! Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, my God. The, the ending of this thing, that, that last move. Did a phenomenal forearm, and it took them both through the announce table. Yeah. It's almost like the announce table just exploded. Yeah. Pretty much. So, yeah. I, I could have watched that for another 15 minutes. Yeah, I wouldn't mind him. Yeah. Uh, AJ picking up the victory. Last man standing. So, the title is still in the cab of the chair. Yeah, if you're going to pick up this pay-per-view, that's one of the matches that you watch. <laughs> yes, most definitely. Right. Uh, now time... For the Raw Women's Championship match. Nia Jax versus Ronda Rousey. Yeah, this one had a bit of intrigue to it. Yeah. It was like, how's Ronda going to do in her first ever singles match? Hmm, yeah. And to be perfectly honest, I think she's done quite well. Yeah, I mean, she took one hell of a beating in this match. And not only that, she bloody... Done like a sodden German suplex and Nair or whatever. Yeah. Or what, whichever move it was. And I was like, yeah, give her a juice. She's got some bloody strength on her. Oh, she judo throwed her. Yes, that was it, yeah. And it was like, bloody hell, how do you do that? Yeah. And, and, and then the thing throughout the match was, you know, once she gets that arm bar in, that's it. That could be it. Could be game over. She did end up getting it in. She did. You were like, is is Nia going to tap again? Yeah. She tried breaking it. She tried flipping out. Mm. Ronda wasn't having any, any of it. And just when you thought that that was going to be the end of the match, you got the swerve. The Vince Russo swerve. Oh, damn you, Russo. He's like, oh, bra, hold on a minute. Bra. We can't have that. Bra. Alexa Bliss got herself involved in the match. The briefcase. Yeah, she hit Ronda with it, and that called for the DQ. Yeah. Ronda Rousey winning via disqualification. So she took Ronda out, threw her into the ring post. Yeah, bloody launched her. Looked like it hurt a bit. Threw her over the announce table. Mm. But yeah, took her out of the equation. Yeah, and then uh, Alexa started putting a beat down on Nia. Started hitting her with the briefcase. And then uh, and then she sort of launched in the way of the ref, and then the ref was like, all right, okay, you, you, you're cashing in. And then Alexa was like, whoa, hang on, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but then in the end, she did cash it in. She did. And then Alexa did... Devastating DDT. Yep. And then she did a move we haven't seen in quite a while. She then got onto the top rope and she hit Twisted Bliss. Oh, man. And Alexa is the new Raw Women's Champion. I can't remember if they said five. Five times? I think it might. Four, four time, actually, I think, yeah. Four, four time Women's Champion oh, man. Alexa Bliss. Yeah, crazy ending to that one. Yeah, that's not going to go down well. Yeah. Right, one match to go. And it's time to return to the money in the bank. Men's money in the bank. Yeah. I do have to say, I was a little bit disappointed at the start of the match. Because he had everyone come out and then it was sort of funny, right? 
Who, which member of the New Day is getting in oh, this match? Yeah, this one disappointed me. Yeah. Kofi was the predictable one for me. I would have much rather have had Big E in this match. Yeah, the thing is, they said, oh, this is Kofi's eighth time in a Money in the Bank match. I'm like, eighth time? So why does he need another one? Yeah. If he's been pretty in much. seven before, why put him in an eighth? Yeah, pretty much. Either of the other two would have been fine. Yeah. I, I wanted it to be Big E. Just to I, see what he could do in a ladder match. Yeah, yeah, I, I wanted it to be Big E as well. It's like, if you've been in seven Money in the Bank matches and you haven't won one... Maybe Tom Court. Yes. It's like Kane in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. He's been in like 20 Royal Rumbles and he's never won one. Might be time to give it up. Yeah. Um, this match was, was good. I mean, he had it teased throughout the night. Kevin Owens was trying to recruit everyone to team up on Braun. They did. And yeah, they did at the start of the match. He got buried underneath about 20 ladder. Yes, yes he did. I knew it was going to happen. They used to do it at the Big Show all the time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so then uh, everyone else got on with the match. Ladders very quickly came into the equation. Well, the problem I had was you were just waiting for that moment for Braun to come back to life. Yeah, yeah you knew he was going to. You knew eventually all those ladders would just fly everywhere and he'd stand up. <laughs> and lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. The ladders literally went flying everywhere and Braun just stood up. <laughs> and everybody's in trouble. Oh yeah, there's, there's crazy stuff in this one. It's like yeah. What a mood I like when, when Finn Balor did the coup de grace from outside of the ring, inside the ring, off of a ladder. Yeah, it was... I think it was on Bobby Roode. Yes, yes it was. And he did actually properly connect with him that time. Yeah, it looked like it hurt. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I'm trying to think, did Kofi have a random moment? He, he normally bloody does. To be honest, I wasn't really paying a lot of attention yeah. to Kofi. No. Like, I like him and everything, but I was still pissed off that he was in another match. Should have been Biggie. It's like, damn it, Kofi, you've tried. You can't do it. Give it up. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh... What was it? The, the Miz got close at one point, and then I think, was it Braun dragged him down? Yeah. Just, like, palmed him off. Just pushed him. Yeah. Yeah. So, to get me wrong, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mind the finish. I, I was just pretty determined that it was going to be someone else. Yeah. I mean, as soon as everyone started ganging up on Strowman, I started thinking to myself, he's probably going to win this. And inevitably, in the end, Braun did. He did. I think he do a couple of running power slams to take people out before he made the climb. No, I think he did. Yeah. I think Miz was up there, and he was the last one. He got pushed off. Mm. Yeah. Before he grabbed the briefcase. Yeah. So there you go. Watch out, Brock Lesnar. Braun. <laughs> Has the briefcase. Yeah, but I made a point there. Lesnar is never around enough to be cashed in on. So that probably means it's probably going to be a summer slam. It's like, I think they should do some storyline where, Bro where, where Braun actually goes to his house. <laughs> <laughs> we could have him breaking through, breaking down the fence and whatnot. <laughs> Lesnar! <laughs> you could have like just a full siege storyline with. Lesnar like barricaded in his house. <laughs> He's like, right, you ain't coming to Raw. I'm gonna come to you. That would be cool to see. Uh, uh, I gotta be honest. Even just for Paul Heyman's reactions, you could have him sitting in the house going, "Oh my god!" <laughs> it would work. 
Uh, I'm not even a writer and I can write this stuff better than these clueless idiots. Yeah. The brawn is money in the bank. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Overall, it's not a bad pay per view. Overall, there were a few misses, but I think overall it was a lot more successful than what we thought it was going to be. No, the way I can sum it up, the good was very good, but the bad was very bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's about right. If I'm being honest, it's not a pay-per-view I would sit through and watch again. I'd probably do one of the Money in the Banks and AJ and Evil and Inch, Evil Shinsky next, and that would probably be it. Mm. But well, <laughs> there's many more pay views. They'll get it right eventually. <laughs> but I would not go out of your way to watch Jinder and Roman. Even just for the crowd reactions. Just skip it. <laughs> no. Go do it to yourself. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this one. From your host, the master of the brain damage. Martin. And the one and only Sam H. We'll see you again for the next one. Anyone waving to finish it? Bro!